Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Wayne DeGroote from DCube, ddd.ca. Today's lesson is how to print. Uh, it's a beginner introduction. Alright, let's get started. So, the uh, first thing you need to do is have something on the screen to print. So, I'm just going to use the elevation that came with SoftPlan. Alright. And we're going to file and, of course, print. Okay, now normally it would, on my uh, main computer, if I click on this button here, it would actually give me a list of printers that I have loaded. For example, Canon, HP, uh, Adobe uh, Writer. In this case, there's only one printer, so I'm just going to choose that just for now for illustration purposes. Clicking on the properties, and in the properties, it actually says it's going to be a leather letter size, or I can change this to other sizes, uh, whether being tabloid, which is 11 by 17, or larger. So right now, I'll just choose letter. The width and height are correct. Uh, I do want to have a landscape, of course. I didn't want to choose portrait; that would happen to be tall. Go down and click on OK. Now, the scale is the only um, factor of a drawing that actually becomes, uh, that forces the drawing to be small. So, in, in essence, the drawing is done one to one. One inch equals one inch, one foot equals one foot. Um, in this case, I have uh, highlighted a uh, quarter inch. So, I have, if I'm not really sure how big the drawing is, but I do want it to scale. Of course, I have to experiment with it. So I'm going to click on Print Window, and I can sort of see that um, that my page that I'm moving around is not going to envelope the entire front elevation. So I'm going to hit the right, sorry, the left mouse button, and I'm going to try going to three sixteenths of an inch. And again, I'm going to click on Print Position. And we're getting close, so my choice is I could go back into the drawing, rearrange a few things here and there, but I think I'll be, I'll be at, at a border uh, to this next time. So I think I want a little more space. And I'll try this one here, the 1 8th. Again, I click on Print Window. Ooh, lots of room to play with. Now again, that dashed line is representing where the inside of the paper is going to be. So if I want to show up in the top left or the top right, I actually make sure I move my paper down that way. If I do not want this, I can hit the right mouse button. That will actually cancel. And I have two other little features. If I didn't really care about the uh, scale, I would actually click on Print Drawing to Page, meaning it will actually fit the paper to the drawing itself, and if I want to actually have it centered up, make sure I click on here. So I could click on this. As you can see, it actually grays out the the printing area, and it actually turns off the center because it will actually fit the drawing to the paper itself. So I'm going to click on fixed again. I already know I'm one eighth. So once I actually have my paper around, I'm ready to go. I just clicked on the left mouse button, and now if I hit OK, it will actually print uh, whatever I have in the uh, box itself. A lot of people do see that whenever they uh, do a print, I'll zoom out as far as I can, the gray line that goes around is actually the paper edge. We could change the paper edge to be a little bit smaller, and actually I think we'll do that now. A little bonus extra knowledge. I'm going to go into uh, File and Drawing Options. Inside of that, the very top says Workspace Limit. As a default, it actually is set to, um, to 10, so I'm going to change that to uh, 140 feet tab, and then I'm going to type in oh, 90 feet and see where it winds up. Hopefully it'll be a little more usable area. So okay, now the paper side has moved in a little bit. So now I can sort of uh, 
get a little tighter to the elevation itself. I usually like it really tight, so um, around the edges, so I, I don't have to zoom in or squint at the uh, the elevation itself. So I'm going to click on print again. I already have my printer selected. The scale is already selected. Click on print position window, and as you can see, it's a little uh, bigger on the screen, so I can still click on that. And if I do want to use the screen colors, which is actually quite handy if you want to um, highlight things or make it in color in general, um, you can just click on this button right here, and it will actually use the printers, or sorry, the screen's colors. Good. If you have any requests whatsoever, how to do anything inside of Softline, please email me at softlandtv at ddd.ca. Have a good day.